Hi everybody, this is the Hono Toys Wolverine. The box looks pretty spectacular, it's vibrant. Not sure I'm gonna like them, but this is the Hot Toys kind of entry level figure now. Now these are really interesting, this is the first in the line. What I can tell you is straight off the bat, the box is pretty impressive, if you like that kind of thing. I'm really not sure what the quality of this thing's gonna be like, because it is significantly cheaper than the normal figures. Inside the box you get a whole host of instructions, I like that. And inside the box even further, you get this image of Wolverine. Now, you can cut that out and put it on the stand. That's a great touch. Okay, let us be straight off the bat. First impressions, this thing is pretty darn solid. It's a heavy figure, I like it. I like the claw designs, although they are a bit long for my liking. They are plastic, I would have preferred some kind of more metallic look to them. But overall, they look very cool indeed. Um, you get three face plates on this guy, which I think is pretty impressive. You get the Stoker one, which he's got at the moment. You get kind of the smirky one, which again, the detail on this is pretty good. It's certainly not, in my humble opinion, Hot Toys level paintwork. But, but, ladies and gents, it's still damn good. These teeth, the detail, are very, very good. This, however, dog shit. Really don't like this. This is clip-on effects. You snap these onto his claws to make it look like he's slashing. Tell you now, not interested. The base is uber cool, and we'll talk about that in a bit. The figure himself, like I said, he's a weighty thing. He's much solider than I expected. I'm loving the McNally... I can't speak. Metallic paintwork. I like the cloth costume. That head sculpt is very cool. Overall, it's pretty darn impressive. Not as detailed, mind, as a hot toy. Loving the arms. You've got the spongy kind of textured arms, which are very cool. And detailed vein work on them is excellent. It's lovely having some seamless arms on this figure. Now, it's not without its faults. This figure does have a few things that kind of jump out as soon as you start looking at them. For example, this. The, the joint work on the feet is very noticeable. Same with the wrists. You do get a bit of that on hot toys. But this in particular really wound us up. The shoulder pads port in, but mine kept flipping about and it's hard to get them into a position where you can't kind of notice the joints underneath. Not keen on that. This is the secondary head sculpt. This is the one where he's got his teeth shown. Um, and this is the third. I love this one. This is most definitely the way I'm going to have my Wolvie displayed. Friggin' heck. Look at that. That's awful. Don't like them at all. They're going to be staying in the box. Overall, though, what am I thinking of this figure? There is no doubt to me that this is a great addition to any 1-6 collection. But, but ladies and gents, it's not a patch on a proper hot toy, I have to say. But then again, I'm comparing it here to the Sideshow Wolvie, which I have to say isn't the best. I prefer the Hono, and the Hono is a fraction of the price, really, to this one. I've got the Hot Toys Deadpool and Wolverine, Wolverine figure coming, so we'll compare the three when he arrives. Overall, but I think this is a great pickup. Loving the comic display at the back there. Well worth a purchase, in my humble opinion. That's your whack. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch us next time. Take care.